This is a sea anemone underwater. And this is a sea anemone out of the water. Sea anemone underwater and sea anemone out of the water. Sea anemones are in the phylum Cnidaria, so they're related to animals like jellyfish. But unlike jellyfish, a lot of anemone species live in the inner tidal zone, meaning they spend part of the day underwater when the tide is high and part of the day out of the water when the tide is low. Because these animals are invertebrates, they have no bones and no structure to hold them up when they're out of the water. So gravity just pulls down on their body, making them look like this. This is perfectly normal and they've adapted to be able to withstand these harsh conditions until the tide comes back in. And once it does, they look a lot more elegant. They open up these beautiful feeding tentacles that have stinging cells called nematocysts that they use to catch prey. Some species are safe to gently touch, and their sting just feels sticky to our fingers. But never touch one unless you can ID the species and know it's safe to touch. I understand they don't look very appealing when they're all closed up and saggy, but that's part of what makes them one of the most resilient animals in the tide pools.